saving the environment one garment at a time. That's what these two friends, who co-own a fashion label, are trying to do. They make clothes from upcycling old fabric and even go to the extent of using old threads. While diving, I can see how much uh, damage human uh, causing to the ocean and I want a way, a more direct way to help Mother Earth. Fashion is one of the most polluting industries. It's responsible for 8 to 10 percent of greenhouse gas emissions and nearly 60 percent of all clothing produced eventually ends up in landfills. The most profitable business model is fast fashion, mass producing pieces based on the latest catwalk trends. These sell fast and are discarded just as quickly. But some people, like Jada Chong, are doing their best to keep clothes in circulation for longer. She and a friend started a clothes swapping event several years ago. Uh, as we grow, we actually influence more people to accept this concept of second-hand clothing. They charge $5 per person and everyone brings at least five items for swapping but is allowed to leave with as many pieces as they want. So I think we should be recycling things much more. We should be prolonging the value of these items more. Another way clothes are kept out of the landfill is through resale. Customers shopping at second-hand stores were often those who couldn't afford new items. But as it's becoming trendy to be thrifty, the popularity and number of these stores is increasing. The pandemic, too, has gone some ways in changing consumer habits. People have become more careful with their spending. Cancellation of fashion shows, disruptions in supply chains, helped shoppers break the habit of following the latest trends. But as the global economy slowly recovers and consumption bounces back to pre-pandemic levels, environmentalists will be hoping the trend for sustainability in fashion stays constant. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.